Good morning, and welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Izzy Cruz, and I'm part of the college and career here at Mainland Baptist Church. Today, our devotional is going to be called Persistent Prayers, and we can find our text in Genesis 32, 25 through 28. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint, as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall no more be called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. Jacob spent his early life under the influence of two men who knew God, his grandfather Abraham and his father Isaac. Yet, despite that, Jacob lived by deceit and trickery and ended up having to run for his life as a result. Even on the run, however, he did not forget the God his father and grandfather worshipped. Although his worship was inconsistent through the next 20 years, as Jacob returned to the land God had promised them, he made commitment to worship God alone. Jacob instructed his large family to do the same. Then Jacob said unto his household and to all that were with him, Put away the strange gods that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments. Genesis 35, 2. That night, in an unusual encounter, Jacob expressed his complete dependence on God's help and was persistent in prayer until he received the blessing he sought. Though God sometimes does answer prayers immediately, it is often the case that we must pray again and again. If we are haphazard and sporadic in our praying, or if we give up before the answers come, it is unlikely we will ever see God work in a great way. George Mueller said, We must then continue in prayer until the blessing is given to us. Furthermore, we have to believe that God does hear us and will answer our prayers. Frequently, we fail in not continuing in prayer until the blessing is obtained and in not expecting the blessing. Today's growth principle, do not miss the blessing God has in store by failing to continue seeking it from him until it arrives. Let's pray. Lord, we love you. Thank you for loving us, Lord. 